Hi, I'm Amy from the Cayley Branch Library. And I'm Bethany from the Prairie West Branch Library. And today, we are hanging out outside today. And it's such a beautiful day. It is. Oh my goodness. Gosh. Hmm. Can you believe it's <sighs> almost fall? I'm so wow. excited for fall. I love the fall. Yes. I love to be outside during the fall by the trees and watch the leaves change colors. <gasps> you know what else is outside? What? Animals. <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> I bet here at the outdoor campus, we might be able to find some animals. You think? I think so. <gasps> Maybe we need to do a search. Let's go. Ah! <gasps> I'll go this way. Okay, I'll, I'll head over here. Should we get a little bit closer? Yeah, let's check it out, but we gotta be careful. Not too close. Not too close. Yes. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Bethany, did you know that there are a lot of foxes in South Dakota? And I know that they are very, very fast runners and they can jump really high too. Whoa, that's so cool. Also, did you know that foxes are part of the dog family? I did not know that. That's interesting. <gasps> very cool. Hmm. Do you suppose we should leave this guy alone? Probably should. Let's see what else we can find out Sounds here. Sounds good. Bethany, what is that? I don't know. Let's go closer and find okay, out. Quietly. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. Oh, it's a little deer. Did you know that deer are all over the state of wow. South Dakota and they've got really good sight, smell, and hearing to keep away from predators. Wow. I also know that deer's favorite food is they like to eat the bark off the trees in the forest. Ooh, that doesn't sound yeah. appetizing. I guess they must taste good to the deers. Ugh. All right. So cute. He is really cute. Well, what do you think? Should we try to find some more animals? Yeah, we better not scare him away. Let's see what else we can find. Sounds good. I think it is? Oh my goodness, I think it is. We better go look. But very carefully. Yes, very carefully. Wow. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it. It's a bear. We found a bear. <gasps> wow. Wow. Did you know that bears don't actually live in South Dakota, but every once in a while people spot them passing through. We got really lucky today. Oh my goodness. Now, do you think bears are normally really fast or are they kind of slow? I think they're probably slow because they're so big. That's what I thought too, but actually they're super fast. Wow. They can run 40 miles an hour. And as you can see, they can climb trees. That's pretty neat. Whew. Wow. I've had a lot of fun looking for animals today, Bethany. Yeah, I have too. And guess what? You can make your own animal at home and we'll show you how. All right, let's go. That was so much fun. Thank you for joining us for our animal hunt today. I know I learned a lot about I had animals. a lot of fun, yes. Yeah, and you get to make your very own animal. All you need to do is stop by your local Siouxland Libraries branch and pick up a take and make kit of one of the following options. You can do a fox, you can do a deer, or you can do a bear. And what you'll get in your kit when you pick it up is you'll get a brown paper bag like this. You'll get a couple pieces of construction paper, depending on the animal you get. And then you'll also get a template where you can cut out the shapes and trace it on your paper, cut it out and put it on your paper bag. And voila, wow. cute animal paper bag puppet. That sounds like a really fun project, Bethany. And don't forget that your animal puppet friends 
also love to read with you. So when you come to the library, make sure you check out some books that you can read with your animal friends. I'll show you a few that I really like. Wild About You by Judy Sierra. Mm. This is a great book for younger kids, has lots of colorful pictures of animals. And look what happens. An egg was dropped off at the zoo, a mysterious uh -oh. egg. What could be inside it? All the animals are wondering, mm. but you have to read the book to find out what is gonna hatch from that egg. Now for all of you beginning readers, I'm just starting to read by yourself. I love Foxy Fox. Read it with your little fox. Parents, our easy reader section is a good place to get books for you and your child to read together for your beginning reader. Foxy Fox is by Barbara D. Robertis. You can find quite a few books in this section. Now maybe you're an older student mm. and you want to challenge yourself a little bit with a chapter book. I love Paddington. Paddington is such a cute bear. He lives with the Brown family. He has so many adventures. You will love to read Paddington books. Maybe you have another favorite book at the library. Be sure to check out some of your favorite books that you can take home and read with your animal puppet friend. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, and then if you make one of these crafts, please take a photo and post it online. Um, tag us on social media and we'd love to see it. Um, and then this video is also going to be on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll see stuff like this and more really fun videos to check out. Sounds great. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today, guys. We had a lot of fun. Yep. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>